evening, sir. Good evening. Thank you very much. I'm a um, senator engineer. You succeeded in the construction of concrete roads in the place of asphalt. What better the idea of concrete road technology? Well, um, uh, was the party chairman in 2007, and I watched uh, with keen interest the road construction going on in the state. Having also um, been a contractor from 1994 when I started my own companies. And so I've been watching road failures, especially in Southeast. And then I became the chairman of the party in the state in the year 2007. Because my companies were working at Boeing State. In exception of uh, maybe the rules that I did as of 2011, there was no single road built by that administration that lasted for four years. You ask me why did my own last? Because I had the trick of allowing my road to pass through uh, rainy season and uh, I was working during all the rainy seasons. <coughs> but that didn't totally save the roads, but at least it sustained the roads. And then when I became a deputy governor in 2011, I also watched the roads being done in Ebony State. As at the time the governor was leaving in 2015, it was only about 5% of the roads that administration built that were still available for any people to run through, but not without major damages. And so when I came into office in 2015, I already knew, and of course God told me, <coughs> to use concrete. And of course, we're even doing concrete road based on our, our capacity. You know, we have a state with the lowest allocation. So we were doing concrete roads in the point state without reinforcement other than BRC. In most of the roads, the thickness was six inches and without any uh, stone base. And we did quite a lot. We just completed 199 kilometers of uh, concrete road funded by African Development Bank and the Islamic Development Bank. Where that one was on concrete, uh, you know, it was on concrete and it had stone base and the 20 uh, CM, that's 8 inches thick. And so, all the roads that God helped me to build in a point state, there is none of them that has failed. Other than about 3 kilometers of the road that failed under concrete. Why? because we use a kind of sharp sand that retains so much water. So the moment you use material that has water retained in it, the road is bound to fail, whether it's asphalt or concrete. So for me, it's a very good success. And then I also saw a road built in, uh, in, in Niger, the first indigenous or the first you know, cement factory in the whole Nigeria. I saw that road. Built of concrete, the road is still there. The road is still very beautiful. It's like it was built yesterday, built on the, uh, concrete. Again, a point state is sitting predominantly on clay soil. And so you have to design a kind of pavement that will not behave with the weather. Because clay, when there is rain, the clay swells. When there is a sun, the clay dries up. And so it dances with asphalt because asphalt is a flexible pavement. And flexible pavement means that it has to behave alongside with the behavior of the surface. And so for me, it's a good success. And I also went to Lagos and I saw the concrete road done by a company called High Tech 
for the Dangote under the uh, task credit scheme. You go and see the good work they did from Apapa to uh, Oshodi, you go uh, to uh, Ojota. You see the work being done at Shagamu and Shagamu, uh, uh, you know, and Lagos Shagamu by Arab contractors. You go to the famous new deep sea port at Leki, and you see the road also being done by this high tech for Dangote. And you see very beautiful. People say, ah, it brings noise, this, you know. Let's go and see, it does not. So we have text cases, and uh, I'm very proud that uh, this goes are there for anybody to see. Yeah. Thank you very much, the minister, sir. What were your challenges then? in Oboni State, and what do you foresee <coughs> will be your challenge at the federal level? Well, our uh, challenge is, you know, is people say that I was uh, using cement to paint our roads, you know, so there was a lot of uh, attack. Even uh, my commissioners, uh, engineers, nobody believed in that, nobody supported. But I was convinced that it was from God. I was convinced that technically that's what it should be. I was convinced that I went to school, I went to engineering school, I'm a fellow of Nigeria Society of Engineers. I'm a fellow of uh, engineers in technology. Uh, I have other fellows, you know, uh, allied technical fellows. And so I was very courageous, you know, and I'm still courageous to know that that will work. And so by the time it started working, and uh, to show the amount of, uh, you know, soothsayers, I initially started, and whenever I finish the concrete, I will put asphalt on it. But then, as I was doing it, there were some I didn't put asphalt on. And then, this over time, in six months, the, the road became like asphalt. So I stopped putting asphalt. And so that is also based on experience. So I had a lot of, uh, you know, challenges. You know, people believe in it. But today, my successor is doing all the roads on concrete. A number of uh, states have also copied doing their roads on concrete, and. Uh, I don't know whether you ask me the challenges I expect here. I expect very huge challenges, and the challenges are already there. The contractors are not happy about it, but not all of them. Some rules, essentially, you know, by my predecessor, was they were also designed on concrete, but just about maybe one percent of the roads. So I think the contractors are afraid of investing in the new concrete uh, equipment. They are afraid of doing that, but that is an investment. And I have said that there is no job I'm going to give out that's under my tenure that will not be on concrete. <coughs> and then <coughs> I had to go to report myself to Mr. President because that's the melting point. I know people have been running around reporting me to people around Mr. President. So I quickly had to yesterday go and report myself to Mr. President. I said, sir, I'm redesigning some of the roads on concrete. And um, I have done the analysis and we are good to go. And it's going to also lower the pressure on your, 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 your Naira, because asphalt, you know, is made of bitumen. And by the way, this bitumen, most of it is so much adulterated, because the contractors come in and say, ah, we are doing a bitumen enhancer. Why are you doing bitumen enhancer? Why should we enhance a bitumen if it's a bitumen? And so the cost of, uh, you know, uh, bringing this uh, bitumen, by the reason of going to look for effects, it's going to be eliminated. Everything about concrete road is locally you know, sourced. And so Mr. President said, I am in support of you. He also gave me a tax. He said, I believe that concrete road is cheaper than asphalt road. I'm now doing the computation. You know, but if it is not cheaper, I will go back to it. But I believe strongly that the treatment given to a truck, a road on asphalt, if I use the same parameters and then change the, the, the pavement to concrete, that concrete is going to be cheaper. And when you go to trunk roads, concrete roads are much cheaper than asphalt roads. And moreover, this is 50 years free bonds, 50 years no maintenance, 50 years that you don't touch it if you do the proper you know, mixing and the proper you know, vibrating of the concrete while you're laying it. So we already have this, but essentially a number of contractors have also keyed in. But the big ones want to scale me with their cost. But we are running the numbers. 
we know uh, criteria concrete, how many cement is needed, how many tons of chipping needed, how many sand is needed, how many rods you need. Now, if you're going to buy your own rod from a different market, not known to us, we need to know. So what we argue will be your overhead. And there is a standard that is allowed by our procurement law, you know, what will be the profit and overhead. So we are running the figures. And I believe strongly that everyone will key in and everybody will be happy. I feel so sad, you know, seeing our roads. Why contractors are still on the road on asphalt? The roads are failing. And they will tell you, oh, it's overloading. They have even convinced our past government to go and they start to install way bridges on our roads. Who is going to manage? If somebody comes and they gives money to somebody on that way bridge, won't allow him to pass. So it's a waste of resources and force, and I'm not going that way. I'm going that when we design our road, if you are building asphalt to give me performance bond, and we agree on the shelf life, whereby this asphalt must stay. If it's on concrete, you also give me a performance bond. A time has come under President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the divine president of this country, whom God brought to reset this country. A time has come when Nigerians will smile. They will smile home that every of their you know, money they put on route and every other sector of our economy that is going to be accountable. Today I arrested one white man that is doing a road in Borono State. He collected two billion and was only, you know, he could only do 200 meters. And I was talking to him, he said, look, there is insecurity. I said, but when you collected this money, you didn't know there was insecurity. And so the time is gone. Everyone that is getting federal government money is going to account for it. It's going to work for it. And so, that is where we are. And where projects are high, the contracts are hijacked upwards, and I can't explain it, I have to review it. And this is where we are. We will get to a point where everybody is going to be very happy with this concrete route. It's going to be very happy. And we're working with all the contractors. You know, I don't have any contractor, and we've not introduced any new route. By the special grace of God, and with the mercy of President Bola Mentinebo, he has allowed all the ongoing projects to continue. It has allowed all the contractors to continue. So we are not bringing new contractors, we are not bringing new roads yet. Because the ongoing project is about 40 trillion. Where 4 trillion only is paid. We are sure of funding of uh, four, another uh, 4 trillion, you know, due to uh, the committed uh, task credit schemes and the NPC uh, task credit scheme too. We still have a gap funding of about 6 trillion. And that is by not touching 2022 appropriation of 2023 and by bringing no new project. And so, we expect challenges, we expect blackmail, we expect all kind of stuff. But because I came in the name of God, I am very sure that we will win this battle. If it is for my selfish end, it will fail. But if it is for the good of the people of this country, if it is for the directive of Mr. President, we will succeed. And the Nigerian people will be very happy. Mr. President will be happy. God will be happy. Contractors will be happy. And all of us will celebrate. It is a lasting road project that President Bola Ahmed Tunubi will be known for in generations to come. So we are not afraid of war. We expect it, but we shall win.